deadliest catch moments that will make you cry. When it comes to the unpredictable world of crab hunting, so much can go wrong and take a turn for the worse. We have seen this many times throughout the show, causing trauma and tears. As he decides to either stay or go. How does she look in back, though? Honestly, really, really curious, man. I know. That's a lot of stress. Deck boss DJ must make a decision that no man should ever go through. He must decide whether to keep working and fishing or see his dying mother as she was severely ill and had an extremely limited time left. Sadly, this deckhand started having a meltdown on this decision. Financially, like. I have to do this, so I really want to finish at least this first trip, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. You know that that right there is the reason that you're working so hard? That little guy right there, that little guy, it's like a mini you. That's what you're working for. Due to financial troubles, the deck boss needed to work instead of seeing his mother for the very last time. He is working to provide for a son a very noble reason to work. He then got an important text message and call from his sister. Hey, Brianna. I'm good. Just working. What's up? DJ got the worst news he could possibly imagine and was absolutely devastated, coupled with the fact that he wasn't there to tell his mother goodbye in person. Understandably, the crew attempted to comfort DJ. Sorry to hear that. Ah, God. God, I feel your pain. Phil Harris was one of those cast members that made you fall in love with the show. He was courageous and brave. Unfortunately, he would sustain a heart attack. 911, what's your emergency? I think my dad had a stroke. Tragically, Phil Harris would be taken to the hospital immediately, where he passed away in front of his son, leaving everyone extremely upset and in tears. Phil Harris's son, Josh Harris, was extremely devastated as his father was someone he looked up to greatly and was a positive role model who helped Josh get his foot in the crab hunting space. Other crew members were devastated by this news as well. Kids stick with crab fishing, you know, and stay on a decent boat and they learn something. Yeah, I think that they'll have a good life. I mean... In deadliest catch fashion, all of the ships gathered around to say their goodbyes to Phil Harris and honor him for his hard work and dedication throughout the years. It was an extremely bittersweet moment. Baby. We miss you. Yeah. 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 After Phil Harris passed away, his son, Josh Harris, was left devastated and wasn't in the show for a little while. When he came back, he had the ambitious goal to collect a record-breaking amount of crabs to honor his father. Home, please. I think we're going to take some advice from the old man and cover some depths. You should come on over here, man. Help us divide and conquer. Sounds a lot better than what we got going over here. Right, man. We got to finish hard. No giving up, man. After adapting Phil Harris's old strategy, Hannah and his crew were able to find 
an insane amount of crabs. After so much opposition and technical difficulties, Josh Harris was able to capture his personal best amount of crabs using what his father taught him. Everyone was extremely proud of Josh Harris. I told you. I love you, man. <laughs> Sig Hansen nearly lost his life while filming for Deadliest Catch. <laughs> To take stress away. One reflecting on this traumatizing moment, he realized that he was playing with his life too much and acted out of stupidity as he kept fishing despite his intense health problems. After looking at that, I'm really scaring myself. I mean, I always thought I was stubborn. I didn't think I was that stupid. That's just dumb. So, yeah. John was also there to let Sig know that he had a significant impact on the crew and that he should never push himself too far. Scene may be young, but his mind is well beyond his years. Your family here, but your end goal was always to succeed and do this and do this and, you know, take a step back and realize that you, you know, you did really well. While Wild Bill was at the airport, he received a heartbreaking call. Found out that um, Nick died. He's dead. Oh my god. Really sorry to have to be the one to tell you. The Raven Alaska Charter and down Bill found out that Mick McGallish passed away. Bill was truly devastated and didn't know how to react. Other crew members could not believe the horrible news. Wow. It's like that. Nick's gone. 36 hours before the winter season. And we're also shocked. Nick was only 33 years of age, making him an extremely young person. Hey guys, Bill, we need you now more than ever. The gap that he left, the, the pair of shoes, it, I don't know if they'll ever be filled. It's a crazy day, Nick. Yeah. I guess thankful for what we got. <laughs> 